impressive figures from the Allies, we could not be prouder of Commanders Zmott and Zaki of Triangle 9. Outstanding courage. Many troops were, however, lost. What is going on? I am Zedmott, and as you can see, I've got one lonely, lonely statue boosted. I ran out of time yesterday on Global Number 1, just could not get them down. My Rainmakers were just like milliseconds, like literally the mortars were in the air. So I boosted one damage statue and took him down on basically the first try. So what I'm going to show you is, again, more Rainmakers. You may or may not have them still, but I've got two days left. So I figured I'd show you this just to show a bit more of the strategy of what I've been doing with the double-sided drop. So um, it's fairly important that with these sniper towers that you drop only two boats and you drop them with the flag slightly separated. On the left hand side, he's only got one sniper tower, so you can drop three immediately, but then you can get this uh, Rainmaker right here in. And as you'll see here in a second, I mark this boom cannon. That's critical because otherwise, your medics are going to run back and forth and the boom cannon will just pick them off like crazy. So by marking it, all of my right side Rainmakers are going to target it instead of these defenses right in here. And as soon as this rocket launcher starts damaging things, it's all good until my right side Rainmakers are going to move forward, at which time this right hand rocket launcher is going to damage them. You'll see that in about a second here. And then the medics are going to run back and forth. And if that front boom cannon wasn't down, I'd be losing medics or wasting GBE like crazy. And then it's just a matter of keeping this shock blaster shocked as long as possible, because you can't flare it because if you do your rainmakers will move more into the middle and that just does not work i almost lost this right side rainmaker had to use a, a cryo bomb there and then it's just shock i think i used three or four shocks alone on that shock blaster and after that it's just a matter of waiting 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 because eventually we've got two rainmakers on the left hand side targeting that shield generator and what we just need it to go down so we can swing back over to the right-hand side. So that's how I've been doing um, the double-sided drop against high, high-level bases. This is a seven-boosted seven ice base with five boosted troop damage or building health. So it's got tons and tons of health. Somewhere over two million, I believe, once you add it all up. And... Um, Lots of GBE left, as you can see. It was a little bit sad, though. As you can see on the leaderboard, they met when I attacked, they were number one. And then this other player, number one now, jumped up a couple VP, and I obviously knocked them down. So only got two crystals out of that. A little bit sad. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop this recording, jump over my other account, and start Dr. T on my... Team Oz account. So, a bit of a combo effort. Hopefully, this finds you well. I'll be back in one second. Okay, power of internet. We are now on my HQ18 account on the Team Oz. Now, I'm going to just use Zookas and Brick. No time for anything else. Little bit crazy here, as always, but I don't, I'm not going to waste your time. We've already, and I don't typically do these double videos with um, uh, one attack on one and then one attack on the other. Um, I mean, if you like this stuff, again, let me know. I'm always open to it. It just takes a bit more work, that's all. So, um, now, and obviously the timing just worked out well because I literally just finished that attack and now I've got a couple minutes to record. So, uh, I didn't touch on it much in the last video, but I hope everyone had a fantastic New Year. Uh, New Year's is uh, obviously just another day, but it, it's a good excuse to um, look back on what's happened and how things are going and make goals and all that sort of stuff. I don't tend to be one for New Year's resolutions, but I really, really hope that um, we can keep this game going and keep this fun together. I mean, really, at this point, I feel like uh, Boom Beach has moved away from the mainstream everyone, um, you know, because you, people where you'd have people installing it based on finding it on the top charts and stuff like that, and now it's more of a cult classic style of game i mean they're definitely making i don't know if they're going to put out new commercials for it or uh, have any kind of uh recruitment push or anything like that but uh, i feel like as long as it's we can make it fun as a community and as a group we'll have a long a long a good future together i mean uh boom beach is my one and only 
internet game that I play consistently or even anything on my phone, phone or console or PC or anything like that. I don't play other games. I play a little bit of Clash Golf and I play a little bit of Brawl Stars, um, but that's nothing nearly as often as I play Boom Beach, that's for sure. So I'm, and I just, Brawl Stars is, for me, a game that is fun and it... Um, you can pick it up and play a round of whatever the map of the day is, but it doesn't really have that social aspect or that um, leaderboard aspect even. I mean, for me, Brawl Stars, in order to be on the leaderboards, you have to push with like 15 different characters, and I don't have all the characters, so I'm a little bit hamstrung there. I think I have 15 of 19 or something like that. There's no chance I'm going to be spending like... I think it's like a hundred bucks in order to get the super legendary brawl boxes or whatever. And I just haven't been lucky enough to get Mortis or Crow or Spike or um, there's one more that I'm missing. I can't remember. Anyways, bottom line is, is that with Boom Beach, it's not, you don't have to invest a huge amount of time or money into it to have fun. So with Brawl Stars, I don't think I'll, I think I'm at 2000 trophies. Um, I'm a decent player, probably decent to good player, but I just, I will never be on the leaderboards because there's just too many trophies and you have to grind, grind, grind. And I, I, I just don't have the time for that. So Boom Beach for me is um, my thing. And I assume that anyone who's watching this is uh, sort of in the same boat. If you have other games that you like to play, I would love to hear about them. Um, I am The reason why I don't play other games is not because I Boom Beach is like my life or something like that. I just have not found another game like Boom Beach. Like... The fact that um, other games tend to cost a, quite a bit of money to get into or to get like the, if you want to be good at it, you have to spend a whole bunch of money or and that's just not for me. So if you have other games that are fun, by all means, please, please let me know about them. I'd love to hear them. I love, I'm not, I don't only have the option of playing Boom Beach, but I play it because it's fun and I enjoy it. So um, hopefully I got on a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a tangent there hopefully boom beach continues to be fun and hopefully they it seems like they've gone in a good direction i am very very looking forward to the new year i think that drew is done made fantastic steps in the short time that he's been with the game i think that they've made good steps towards um shoring up a bunch of the bugs and issues that has been plaguing the game for a while and we'll have to wait and see if those things are great going forward i mean Mega Turtle, I assume, is going to be out in the next three weeks, maybe four weeks. So I don't know if it's going to be a turtle or a manatee or a narwhal. Little shout out to the Reddit narwhals there, just because they are badasses. So yeah, I mean, check them. Out. And then they're they're on the uh, ten member task force leaderboard. If you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, so and yeah, Infamous Nine is going to kick their butts. By the way, there's a bit of a and that's one of the other things, like, there's a whole these sorts of little uh, contrived rivalries that are happening in Boom Beach right now. And, like, you'll see task forces uh, putting things in their descriptions and making images and sending them back and forth on Discord and stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff that makes me want to play this game. It's not because it's... Um, I mean, it's not even necessarily the best game around. It's just the social aspect and the fact that there's a bunch of people that can claim that they have never put a dime into the game and then there's people who like Mr. Uh, Caesar who say that they're they love spending money on the game it, it brings in all aspects of life and um, from Fede down in Argentina to people over in yeah, it's anyways I'm on a ramble I really really hope that um, you guys like this game as much as I do it it makes me laugh and cringe and cry when um, people go onto the Boom Beach, um, Boom Beach Twitter and the Boom Beach YouTube and say, "I thought this game was dead." Well, if you thought the game was dead, then why are you on their social media? Like, I don't, I don't understand people like that. I'm, yeah. Anyways, enough rambling. We're doing Doctor T. We're on stage six. It's volcano, and uh, so far none of the stages have been terribly uh, difficult, and I've done dumb dumb attacks on them. I'm gonna continue to do some dumb dumb attacks here, and we're gonna smoke into the back here and just 
clear a whole bunch of stuff. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but we'll find out if it's going to work in a second. There we go. I think we're going to get wrecked by mortars, but we'll find out here in a second. Nope, so far so good. Let's shock this. Oops, I just got... Nope, we're all good. There we go. Now, what I was planning on doing, now that we've cleared all that stuff up, is to come right into here. And we'll hit the core with um, minimal shocks, was my thinking. Let's flare the core at the absolute last second. Shock, shock, cryo bombs, and that should do stage six. I don't necessarily recommend doing it that way, but I figured, what the heck, let's clear all these rocket launchers back here. Makes the walk much, much easier. Stage six down. I think I got crystals on stage five as well while I was blabbering away. Let's see what we got here. Stage six crystal, yes. Stage five crystal, awesome. I feel like I, oh, stage two crystal. I feel like I've been on a bit of a crystal run with my main. Like, I've partially because the leaderboard bases, if you, and by the way, if you're not aware, the leaderboard bases, number one, if you beat number one, you get three crystals. If you beat number two, you get two crystals. If you beat number three, you get one crystal. So um, beating those, having those top players spawn is both good good and challenging and and all of those sorts of things. <laughs> Apparently uh, we're packing up to leave. We're leaving the in-laws tomorrow and heading skiing. So, um, get to go drive for another 300 kilometers, or, um, I guess that's about 180 freedom units, I think. But, um, yes, yeah, right, snuck away from the family, and, uh, I got caught. So, just when you think it's a good time, it never is. So, that's alright, that's alright. See, you, having the shock launcher hit you sometimes is actually works out for the best, because it lets your units stall together. I mean, you lose, lose, lose a little bit of health, but it actually works out pretty well sometimes to have them be delayed just a touch. Now, I'm going to walk back into here, hoping to keep the delay. The delay is so critical on these attacks. If you're using the cryo bomb, which, by the way, is the best thing ever, um, you have to have the delay. Otherwise, it the cryo bomb is basically useless. So... We still have the delay, barely. I'm going to hit battle orders. I'm going to throw a cryo bomb over here and a shock over here. And we're going to hope for the best. One. See the right hand rocket launchers? Oh, I missed some. But uh, stage seven goes down. These baby rocket launchers got us. These big ones did not. So stage seven went down. But make sure you have the delay with the cryo bomb because that way you're they won't even get a shot off. It works very, very well, but if you're peaked, the cryo bomb does not work nearly as good. Anyways, I am Zedmont. That's all I've got today. I'm going to go head off and watch the Canada-Switzerland game, I believe it is, for the World Juniors. If you're not watching the World Juniors, you should be. It's fantastic, fantastic hockey. Otherwise, Happy New Year. Uh, all the best in 2018, and I will be back to my regularly scheduled updates on Monday or Tuesday of next week. I think it's like the 8th, I think. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Talk to you soon. Peace.